I'm Eric Lariano. I'm the president of the Latino Professional Network. I want to welcome uh, you here this evening and thank our host for this evening, um, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Uh, you know we are a major teaching affiliate of Harvard Medical School, one of five major mm. teaching hospitals here in the Longwood Medical Area. I came to Harvard Medical School in 1998, and I was astonished to learn at that point that there were 26,000 people that came to work every day in the Longwood Medical Area. It's now 40,000 people that come to work here every day. We do clinical education for our students in nursing and social work and radiological uh, technology, many other specialties here. Uh, we pride ourselves in particular on a focus on education to the Carl J. Shapiro Institute for Education and Research. I think among all the Harvard institutions, we are, I think, uh, in the lead in, in our focus on education. And I was actually, in terms of our, our efforts to educate our own employees, I was actually very happy to be in this room last night at the graduation ceremony for what we call one of our pipeline training programs as we took some of our own employees who have been working here in food services, in transport, in various entry-level positions, and we graduated them from training programs into surgical technologists, into research administration positions. A few months ago, I was here for a graduation ceremony where some of our own employees came up through the ranks from entry-level positions into nursing positions and have graduated with their RNs. So we're very proud to be able to bring those people on. So as Eric was saying, uh, we do have a long-standing commitment to community health centers. We were actually the founder of one of the nation's first health centers, which was Dimmick Community Health Center in um, 1872. And today, we are affiliated with seven community health centers who collectively serve about 80,000 patients, 25% of whom are of Latino descent. Um, and we provide support for primary care, public health initiatives, and also specialty-based care. We really do believe that care is best delivered in the community, and so we have several specialists, um, pulmonologists and infectious disease folks, um, uh, even a surgeon who goes out and actually does a clinic in the community setting. Um, we also have partnerships with over 100 community agencies for health and social service programs, employment and training initiatives, um, youth development, uh, many of which are aimed at um, reducing health disparities. This is a map that shows our um, seven affiliated health centers, which are in Greater Boston, but also Waltham, Quincy, and uh, Cape Cod. So um, one of our community partners, as you've heard, the Wellness Community of Greater Boston is co-sponsoring tonight's event. And um, so I'm going to introduce, Har we're doing a little tag team here, to introduce Harriet Berman, who's going to talk with you about the Wellness Community and then the program that we do in collaboration at the Dimmick Center in Roxbury. We are a, in Boston, a 15-year-old organization, although nationally a 25-year-old organization, that is a freestanding nonprofit which is dedicated to providing support, education, stress management services to people with cancer and their families free of charge. That's our mission, and we have been doing that, as I said, here for 15 years. Um, and the goals are to help people feel less alone, to feel more in control, and to feel more hopeful, which are three of the areas that have been identified as the real emotional challenges of a cancer diagnosis. We uh, were started in Newton here um, by a friend of Gilda Radner's who had gone to the wellness community in California. And we have since grown. We started the Dimmick program four years ago. And we now have a program also in Salem, Massachusetts, and one in Hanover, Massachusetts. And among all those places, we probably see 15 to 1,800 people a year. And um, People use us for any range. Of, we have people who only come to yoga classes, people who only come to support groups. Um, and um, um, it's, we serve the whole range of diagnoses. Um, we are not cancer specific, so people come to us with every kind of cancer at every stage along the journey of cancer. The wellness community of Dimmick was the collaboration between Beth Israel and the Dimmick, what is now called the Dimmick Center, it used to be Dimmick Community Health Center, and ourselves. And um, again, we intended to provide free of charge services and grow them over time. We started off with one support group. We now have two support groups. 
Uh, we offer yoga classes there. We offer a writing program there. We offer multiple education programs every month there. Um, and we have a very vibrant and active community there. Our national organization online, um, it's www.thewellnesscommunity.org, has a virtual wellness community, online support groups, and there is a Spanish-speaking support group available on that. So just as a resource, people should know that that's out there if people are looking for it. Um, it's uh, the, the program director in our Miami wellness community where they run a lot of Spanish-speaking programs runs that program, and it's, um, so it's available to anybody. And I just wanted to take a second to tell you a little bit about the Latino Health Initiative. So you've heard, um, we actually launched the initiative in 1996, established a Latino provider group, which still continues today, although it's mostly a virtual one, um, lots of emails. Um, uh, we've developed, we developed a primary care strategy to place Latino providers in key communities. We've published a Latino provider directory. There's a Spanish-speaking specialist or physician staff in just about every department so that you can find someone who speaks Spanish to, um, to whom you can refer your patients. And then we um, undertook this large undertaking with L which was LHI at the time, um, and Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and conducted a Latino needs assessment which resulted in the Building a Dialogue Symposium in 1997 that was attended by about 225. You're shaking your head. Were you here, Julio? I was here. Oh, good, mm -hmm. good. So it was 225 um, providers, stakeholders, and we issued a report that had um, 20 recommendations with over 100 strategies underneath all those recommendations. And the piece that BID took a lead on was the Latino Mental Health um, Initiative. And we started Sobre Mesa, which is a quarterly networking and educational forum that Dr. Bouillon heads up, and um, I think he's going to speak to a little bit. I am um, probably maybe a reflection of the efforts that the hospital has done, uh, not the only reflection, but one of them, uh, what has done in, uh, in this past decade. I, I was a resident here, I'm a psychiatrist, and I was a resident and trained in this hospital. And during that time, when I was finishing um, my residency, uh, the Latino Initiative was, uh, uh, you know, happened. So one of the first things that uh, that occurred was that the chief of my department asked me to remain in the hospital. Uh, there cannot be cultural competence without diversity. It's not just a matter of saying, yeah, we have to be more aware. We have to be, you have to incorporate staff that are different in order to, to be inclusive. And um, so I see that this hospital has have made that effort and continues to have that among uh, its priorities. And it continues to do that amongst, you know, trying to decrease um, uh, disparities in care. Uh, so I'm very happy to be part of uh, this effort, but also very happy to have you as, as um, to, to be part of this um, of this evening and to be able for us to be host uh, in, in this uh, event. Thank you very much. Thank you again to all of you for joining us tonight and special thanks to uh, this evening's host Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, um, Eric Edis, Harriet and Jody for making this happen. I'm Harriet Berman, I'm the Executive Vice President of Clinical Programs at the Wellness Community of Greater Boston and it has been wonderful to be here tonight hosting the LPN, um, our work with cancer patients providing free services, uh, support services, stress management services, educational programs, is something that we are hoping that we will be able to expand into the Latino community and making the connections here and seeing just the tremendous energy and commitment of people here. Um, I know that we've met some partners and we'll figure out a way to make this happen. And it's our mission to really be able to bring these services, all of which are free of charge, all of which are professionally led, to communities where there is need. And we sort of are ha just happy that we had this opportunity to tell you about ourselves and, and to move forward in the community. Thanks. <laughs>